Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Roblox Game Development. In today's episode, we're going to fix our shop GUI up a little bit, get rid of um, a small glitch that I found, uh, and we're also going to fix a glitch with our light gun that was reported. Um, first step, um, I'm just going to show you guys the two errors, uh, which requires opening up a server and then starting a player in that server. Um, and these two glitches you guys actually have pointed out in the comments. I, well, actually the first one you haven't. Uh, so the first glitch. So, okay. We know the first page should be completely populated. But the second one shouldn't. The second one should only have this guy. Everywhere else, all of these shouldn't even show up. Because there aren't enough tools to populate the sec a second page. So we're going to buy one light. Um, so that's the first issue. Second issue, if you go down to output, after we buy the light, we're getting this big ol' error here. Player is not a valid member of tool. Well, if we went to the players, player one, backpack, light, we would see in the tool there is clearly an object value named player. So why is this local script telling us there isn't? Well, it's because of basically just how quickly local scripts begin running as opposed to when you clone the tool into the player's backpack. Uh, the easy fix for these, or there's an easy fix for both of these. We'll start with the shop GUI. This one's actually really easy. All right, so in this load products, whenever the page value changes, we go through all of the things, but if the product ID does not exist. If there aren't enough products to populate that page, we just break. We would stop. We don't touch anything else. We don't want to do that. What we want to do is list i dot dot there. Because remember, list, if you, hopefully you guys can, uh, can remember this. Uh, the list is script.parent, which is the list page. And when we do i dot dot, uh, quotation marks, it indexes the button corresponding to I. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Uh, actually, for you guys, it's probably the other way around for me to move my hands, but you get the idea. Uh, we want to do that. Dot visible equals false. And then we want to put in an else and throw this stuff into that else. Tab it over. And we want to make sure if the product does exist that there is enough room, we want to make sure that that list item is visible. So we want to set it to true. The other issue, which was the gun, um, the local script to be more exact, uh, is this line right here. Indexing script.parent.player.value. Well, the player inside the parent doesn't exist yet because the local script is cloned first. And it causes havoc. So what do we want to do? We just want to do a simple tool dot or tool wait for, and we can actually change the script up parent to tool. Uh, wait for child player. And what this will do is it won't execute anything below this line all the way down to here. It will not execute any of that or interpret any of that until wait for until the tool has the child player. Uh, and that'll get rid of the second error. So now when we press F7 and then consequentially Alt F7, um, we will we will not have either of those two errors, and we will be able to continue on. Continue on. Um, as you guys may have noticed, by the way, because tomorrow, our next episode, I want to make it to where you guys can buy something with for actual robux or at least begin working on that but as you and my plan was to sell something really really cheap well roblox recently threw a monkey wrench into that plan and now even t-shirts have to be a super expensive price i can't just price it like two or three tickets uh, i have to price it their minimum and um that's not going to be exactly the best thing. So I'm not going to actually demonstrate it working. Uh, you guys can test it, I guess, but I'm just going to write it, and it. I'm going to be pretty sure it'll work um, if we can get up to the point of purchasing. All right, so anyway, 
on the second page you guys see that we only have this first button that means the first step is working none of the extra buttons that we don't want are there so now when we buy the light we close the shop we can fire with this light no issues no output nothing wrong so thank you guys for watching don't forget to hit the subscribe button please hit the like or the dislike button corresponding to how you felt about this video and i will catch you guys later